this video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Hi everybody on YouTube and welcome! We're playing with uh, Kvartex Golgari, I guess Adventure Deck? I forget exactly what the name the coverage gave this, but it's basically like a black green rock deck. Um, it's got some cool stuff, it's got Edgewell and Keepers that basically redraws almost everything in the deck. So Foulmire Knights, Order of Midnight, Murderous Rider, Lovestruck Beast, everything with an adventure on it. Um, you have Rotting Registrar, which makes the Henge uh, a lot easier to cast. Same with Questing Beast and even Vivian. Vivian is just good for giving things trample and making... Like, it's also a removal spell, so it's some amount of interaction. Um, yeah, maybe it's just Golgari Adventure. I don't know what name they gave it, to be honest, out of words. But it's a pretty fun deck to play. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. Kavartek did great at the... I, he finished in the top eight at the Mythic. Top four, I want to say. He lost in the first round of the... And got into the lower bracket, and I think they, he lost in the next one. Adventure can also help avoid pitching to Reggie. Yeah, so you play Reggie, and then you you know the innkeeper draws you a bunch of stuff, and then you can bend that to the Reggie source. So this deck has been pretty fun to play. Um, we were just trying to play some of the decks from the Mythic Championship this weekend, so this is what we're giving it a shot. Let me f change the sideboard so I can show you the sideboard too. We have three duresses against the control decks. Epic Downfall is good against anything that needs exiling, like Wicked Wolf, for example. It doesn't die unless you exile it. It's also very cheap. Noxious Grasp is good against the green and white decks. Harpooner is good against like Goose and stuff like that. Also good against like Flash decks. Brown Tauron is really good at destroying artifacts. Also big butt against like Mono Red. Shifting Ceratops is good against the blue decks. And Casualties is good in like the super long uh, mid rangey matchups. David, exit. Top 8, top 4 was Mango and Javier. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean he had an amazing run and he played great. And it was, it was cool to watch. I think he did awesome. I was rooting for him. He had a pretty good breakout year, because this was his breakout year, right? Adventure can also... Is that Chris's list? Yes! Uh, Kvartex list. Oh, he ended up in the MPL? That's so cool. He had such a charming interview. Like, we watched his interview uh, here while we did a um, uh, Mythic Championship, like, hosting party. And it was so cute. Man, this hint's very close to keeping. Because we could go Forest, Edgewell, and Keeper into maybe Paradise Druid. But I, I think it's... We should just mulligan it. This one we can keep. Um, I don't think we need double rotting Regisaur. Public viewing. German, we did a um we did a hosting party. Have you ever been to one of those before? This goes to anybody in chat, by the way. We always host the MC here. And then usually on Fridays we also co-stream it. Oh, I didn't want another the Great Henge. I think. I think we have to get black with this, unfortunately. Mainly soccer when I still lived in Germany. That's cool! Yeah, we did that- oh, hello. I mean, we still want to play Paradise Druid. Chad, how much of the Mythic Championship did you watch this weekend? The production value has gotten very good in those. Day 1 and 3. Yeah, I watched a lot of Day 1 and then I watched a lot of- uh, This is probably gonna get countered. About an hour or so each day. Yeah, I watched a lot of it, actually. It was pretty cool to watch. You watched almost all of Day 3 and most of the other days. Yeah, I- Honestly, I do feel like the production value of those things has gotten pretty good. I think we're very dead, by the way. And we just had a slow start. Our hand was kind of clunky and the, our opponent just like ramped into Nissa. We're just... Yeah, production value has definitely improved. It's very good. I guess we just go Rotting Regisaur and hope for the best. We're gonna have to bin a Henge, then play a second Henge. It's not gonna resolve, though. 
apparently really uninterested in watching the arena MCs. I don't really know why. I think a lot of people have expressed that Octagon. A couple people have said, like, I just like seeing people play better. Like, it's more fun to watch people play with a card, you know? You like hearing about kitty cats and puppers from Alias the whole time? <laughs> Do I have a favorite commentator pair? Um... Not really. I thought their commentator squad was good this weekend, but I don't think I have like a favorite pair. I know, German, that was the most brutal part of the weekend. I was very, very sad. I was really rooting for Louise. Yeah, they don't do that anymore, right? Wait, Riley wasn't even in the squad this weekend, right? No, he wasn't. <laughs> Where are you, Cap? Where are you, though? I guess I'll bend the hinge. This is such a disaster. Look at this. I'm, I'm, it's just gonna get countered. But I have enough to pay for Quench. Nah, they just had Negate. Jabated. Actually, we probably should just scoop, right? Can't possibly win. Yeah, I kind of do feel that too, Dia. Uh, some of it is like... When you are doing commentary, it's like really easy to fall back on like the same things you say all the time. Um, so that, they do like... There is some form of coaching when you do a lot of that to like help you break out of that habit. Any sports that I follow closely? Not at all. Also, we're gonna concede this game because we cannot possibly win. Um, okay, so we won Ceratops against them. Noxious Grasp seems good against them. Duress seems good against them. All the expensive stuff doesn't seem as good. So, like, the Great Henge seems like it's just pretty expensive and not gonna resolve. Vivian seems like it's expensive and not gonna resolve. Not sure if Questing Beast is. Not at all, Pindorf. I'm just saying these are classes that exist out there. I mean, I don't know if things have changed since I used to do coverage, but when I used to do coverage... We had no help with anything like that. Yeah, Luis. Crawl Harpooner for the Hydroid. Uh, is that even like good? Order of Midnight seems kind of bad, so I can definitely play a Harpooner instead. I did! I did change my sub logos, German. Everyone's have changed. Yeah, I, I do believe that Wizards could use more... Um, actually like professional development for their commentators just because no one's born to knowing how to do these things and uh, a little help can go a long way but i just don't know if this is something they've ever prioritized or wanted to do i think we have to play temple of malady yeah that seems fine we're gonna take a bunch of damage but we need we need the lands how do you go about becoming a pro esports commentator i think almost everybody who works in a lot of the people who work in commentating all have the same answer when they're like, yeah, I just kind of like looked at my way into it. <laughs> yeah, Pindorf, it totally. A hundred percent. I think we just want to play this, not play into their quench or whatever. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh my god, that's so rude! That's so rude! I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> Bait in another one with Beast. Uh, but that would actually just get countered, so I don't even know how good that is. Uh, let's just attack with both, and then if they play something, I can just murder his rider. It is like not a no thing. Yes, what Luis is saying is very true. Usually, like, getting your foot in the door is the hardest thing. I'm just gonna pass here because we. They almost certainly have to play, like, a wolf here, and then we just get to 
murderous writer it. Let me put a stop here. They didn't do anything. Okay, that's fine. Witness the ties that bind us all. Okay, here with breeding pool being on top is where we have to kind of get them. It's less mana efficient, but I can noxious grasp it. So then we have murderous rider for something else. I don't even know if that's worth it. Is it cube yet this Wednesday? Yet? I'm excited. <sighs> I am super hype. I can't decide which one I want. I think it's murderous rider. I'm so excited for cubers too. Super hype. And that's all I'm planning on streaming when I'm back home. The land shall conquer you. Okay, so they have a gust or a quench or something. Like, for sure. Um. Yeah, we can probably go questing these. I got my first big you commented at small community tournaments. So I was lucky enough to get noticed by the higher up. Hey, Silver Fuse! That's actually, like, very helpful, um... Advice. I mean, same here, but I do think that it's so common that the answer that people give is just like, I think I just got kind of lucky when I got noticed, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm gonna pass with Noxious Grass Block. Oh, Darth, that's right, they only have one mana, that's right, they have, um... <laughs> we killed the Nissan response so they couldn't float the mana, you're right. I guess we can try to go for the Noxious Grasp here, which does tap out the Breeding Pool, so that's something. And actually two work. <laughs> Cup. Silver Fuse, what do you commentate? What games do you commentate on? You still need to update your picture on your Twitch profile desk for the subscribers? Wait, what are you talking about, German? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Should have done it in response again? No! The only spell that I'm worried about there is, um... Oh, I guess they could have had... Sinister Sabotage if they tap double blue and then green on that thing. So yeah, maybe doing it in response is better. How high does winning the best meme deck in a small online tournament rank get noticed for coverage? <laughs> Honestly, no jokes. I want to grab all the highlights and stuff from the Viper Breed 2 tournament. And pitch it to wizards and be like, Hi wizards, we have a cool tournament. How about you sponsor us? <laughs> I really do want to do that. I like how we boarded. Let's send it back in. The Elder Scrolls Legends, but it's dead now. Yeah, that was, that was really sad. Silver. One of my friends was a developer there and he doesn't work there anymore. Now I think he's going to maybe move away from Denver. I'm really sad about it. That's really cool, though. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of... I don't know how, like, actively they're looking for people um, currently in Magic Silverfuse, but there are a lot of tournaments to cast. So, I don't know. There might be some opportunities there for sure. You might want to do that soon. Those VODs don't stick around as long as yours. Oh, that's right! Ark, you are correct. I forgot about that. We should... We'll do it. I'm going to make a little, like channel in the discord by the way let's do a quick shout out to the discord oh my twitch about me section still has a picture of my old lo loyalty badges thank you thank you so much slubers for clicking the discord there i'm gonna keep so if you are yeah yeah it is <laughs> it is over views feels bad man i'm so sad i'm hella sad um, do we want to do I think we want to dress them on the turn we want to set up something else. So let's get just the innkeeper. Oh, hold on. I probably should play lands before I... Yeah, drown secrets can see <laughs> Um, let's play this paradise druid. They can't do anything yet. Yeah, look at this. And then next turn we're gonna get to probably dress them and do some nonsense. Or maybe just play Ceratops. So I want to take the Aether Ghost. I don't want to let them. Yeah. Let me kick it off with Dress. And then we can play Rotting Reggie Face. Oh. Okay. They didn't have anything. What do you know? Do we actually want to play? 
Reggie face. Gnarly! 28 months of drownedsecretsconceit.com. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gnarly, for the 28 months of just being a generally amazing member of the community. You're gas. I'll play my Reggie face, I'm not scared. Chat, in in honor of Narbly's resub, show me your favorite Narbly emote. Mine is mine arc has already spammed in chat. It's Bizzard. Uh, I'm gonna bin the questing beast. Hmm, look at this. This is gonna be sweet. Oh, I don't think I have Ashiokers. Man, I need to get Ashiokers in here because Vintage Cube is about to start. I had to delete Ashiokers to make room for something. Forget what it was. Alright, get in there! There you go! That's Ashiokers! It is enabled! Why? Why is it not showing up for other people? Also, I'm gonna set the upkeep stop so I can murder this writer that night by Camper Shirt. They have frilled mystic, but we still want to do this. Oh, it's two hours. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I always just type it out. All right. Well, there's a frilled mystic, which is fine because like this thing was gonna get like discarded anyway. I'm probably gonna draw like a. Okay, that's all right. Uh, let's attack first. Attack with this and this. That's fine. Also fine. They have more stuff than we do. Uh, I can probably give this thing... So that seems fine. I want to give this tramples. Because we get in for an extra one. Boom. We did it. And now we can play a love struck beast. Oh my gosh, yes. Pika Oko is the most useful recently. I like Infioko. However, however you're supposed to spell that. <laughs> Alright, let me cast this just because it is going to draw us an extra card. Oh, Bopours is very good, but I don't have Bopours on here. Are they going to just double punch me? That's totally fine. We still get to draw. It also taps them out. Shouldn't I scry first? Uh, I certainly could. I don't even know how much it matters. Oh, hold on. Is that Bapur's? Bapur. There you go. Look at that. Oh, we did it. Love it. Hold on. Let me go see what which emotes I'm missing. So I do have Ashiokers, right? I do. I think I have everything here. Do I have coffers? I do. Okay, cool. And we won! Look at that! Love it. Wait, what is this one, Cap? And we leveled up! We are going off, chat. Going FK and winning games with sorceries. Hey, Celeste Burb, it's good to see you. Did you have a good weekend? I saw you a little bit in the Wizards chat for the Mythic Championship. <laughs> Do you know the story about Projectors, Finlay? Oh my god, this is- I don't know what, what the hell is this. I kind of want to add it though. I have a bunch of slots now. Add to my channel. Um... Basically, one time, guard, so the card Guardian Project. Well, I think we can keep this. It's not amazing, but I think it's a keep. <laughs> and I know it draws cards. So there's a card called Guardian Project, okay. There it is. It's a 3G enchantment. Hold on, let me say hi. Whenever non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control or a creature in your graveyard, draw a card. So one time somebody comes on my stream and they're like, they basically went on for like 20 minutes about Guardian Project, asking me if I knew what it did. And I knew what it did, 
But they kept asking in such a way where they kept asking and asking and asking and it just got increasingly and increasingly weirder. So I wasn't even sure if they were being for reals. And it went on for so long. <laughs> it was it was incredible. It was just like I think that person was trolling, but they just got me so good because they they were like so like subtle about it. Oh yeah, I am going to have to It was amazing time twister. They just got me so good. They went on for like It was like a 30 minute thing. And they just didn't get banned because it didn't seem like they were trying to be like purposefully obtuse or anything. Uh, let's play Rotting Reggie and let's play another forest and we can send Paradise through it. Yes, it was it was super confusing and also like, are you trolling or are you not trolling? Are you a genius? I can't tell. <laughs> Let me be in a slum. Can we draw something useful? I guess it doesn't matter if everything we have is just... Oh, not you. <laughs> yeah, Projectors does draw cards. I know Chris did pretty well with this deck, but I could use some card draw. Well, White Russian, it does have an innkeeper. Innkeeper's very good at that. Play this. Might as well play it too. What are some good starter decks to build when starting out? Uh, Jarbuck. I think, um... Monocolor decks tend to be pretty good when you're first starting because it, it doesn't uh, tax your wild cards. Um... Like, Mono Green is probably a very good place to start. We have been a swamp. Okay, cool. So I can play Forest and Questing Beast and Dash. One, two. Just those two get in there. Yeah, GB Adventures is also a good new player deck. It like it has a lot of synergy and it can kind of like help you. Like it's a more straightforward deck to play that I think has like pretty good hanging power. But I do believe it requires a lot of Yeah, Narbly, I was just about to say that. I do believe it requires more wild cards, so maybe a little less good. Maybe Simic Flash is like pretty easy to build too. I would almost always just veer towards a single color just because the wild cards for lands are just so hard on arena if you're new. What? Are you for reals? Okay, well now I don't have to bin that at least. <laughs> I tried a guardian project, I know. Oh my god, stop. No, not again. My little heart can't take it. Single color decks with a focus game plus are good for new people. Yeah, totally. I, when I started playing Magic, that's how I learned. I learned with like all mono color decks. It was like the mono green deck, the mono blue deck, the mono white deck. Yeah, Flash deck is not good for a new player. I do think it's one of the cheaper decks to build, which is why I'm suggesting it. But that might not even be like good. Mono color tribal is a great way to start because it usually has high synergy. Yes, it also like. Um, they tend to be more, like, linear, so you don't have to worry so much about... Like, there's some decks that are, like, pretty complicated to play. Like, Uwu Control, do not recommend. That deck is kind of complicated to play. Oh my god, no, a modest Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, Modern Red Cavalcade is probably pretty cheap to build and also, like, a very good deck. What about Boros Control? Only the true masters of the game can play Boros Control, so I wouldn't go recommending that to a new player. Um, honestly, I didn't even see what we were playing against. What were we playing against? Like, cat? It was like a cat deck? I like casualties against cat decks. Jun cats? Oh, we were playing against Jun, weren't we? Do you have any cuts for the Boris Control deck? No, I think I might still have some for the Selesnia deck, but I need to find them. I think that- I think cods don't stay good forever, so I think some of them are expiring already. What else do we want? Thrashing Brontodon probs. Falmire Knight seems honestly like atrocious here. Registar seems really bad against cats. Maybe like a harpooner against birds. And then what else? Downfalls. What is a good resource for building arena decks? Um so 
the place I would most recommend, not necessarily for arena, but just for general magic strategy is hashtag sellout, hashtag sponsored, is the sponsor of the stream, channelfireball.com. I think they have awesome strategy articles um, for like decks all over the gamut. Like whether you want to be competitive or like casual, like they, they have a lot of stuff there. Um... Did white people happy work? I think I have to refresh. Hold on, I'm gonna have to refresh the chat. I'm not gonna be able to see what you guys say for a second. Um, then also, uh, after CFB, I would probably recommend something like MTG Goldfish. Um, they have a bunch of like, lots of decks. They aggregate lots of decks, but they also have like a budget deck section, which is pretty good. Okay, what are we doing here? Probably playing another Kepper, and then also probably playing a Lovestruck Beast. Yeah, Watsy themselves do, 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 do good articles too. I just find Daily MTG to be hard to navigate, and CFB and Goldfish to be easier to kind of like find your way around. I said doo doo. <laughs> Use a doo doo. For raw deck list, MTG Goldfish is good. I I often like routinely just go through Goldfish and just take a look at everything that's been submitted. Oh look at this! We're gonna go off. Oh my gosh! There's white people. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin my chat. This is how you ruin the chat. Perfectly good chat, totally ruined. Yeah, Dia. The wizard site is hard to use. But they do write good articles on like all the... They also aggregate good articles that they've been seeing around. They... I have like some of their aggregations as well. Oh, Bulletproof, it's just the feels good mana mode except it's like... Like, elongated. <laughs> it's, so instead of being this wide, it's like this wide. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have Bopars! I'm checking out MTG after having been out of the game for two years. Is there a good bit that explains how MTG works? I... Um, there isn't, Tycon knows. But I can kind of just tell you about it. If Oh my gosh, we're getting massacred. Me. Me, I'm mad. Massacred girl is a good beating. Uh, all right. Well, I think let's just try to aggro them out. Um, so Tycho, basically the way it works is you buy gems. Gems can be used to join events. Gems can also be used to buy packs. Um, there's also gold. So you get gold is like the free currency that you get whenever you do missions, whenever you complete um, events, uh, whenever you do quests, you get gold. Most gold can only be used to buy packs. Most gold. And then the only event that you can join with gold, like paid event, is drafts, ranked draft. So ranked draft is pretty good if you want to try to turn your gold into actual gems. Holy moly, we are so unbelievably dead. <laughs> this game sounds pretty pay to win. Everybody knows this is a pay to win game. Of course not me either, thank you. This is this is the most pay to win card in all of standard. It's such a joke. This is supposed to be a brawl card. You can't get this in normal packs. What are we gonna do? I think we're dead. All right, let's go Paradise Druid into Paradise Druid and hope slow roll the Vivian. And if we get something like Rotting Registor, then we get to go Rotting Registor fight. And we'll have enough mana to do that. Alternatively, we're just gonna die probably to the Kobold. You can get it in collector's packs. That's the only play. The o those are the only boosters you can get Kobold in. And you can get it in the Brawl pre-con deck, obviously. Can you use Brawl cards in standard? So technically, yes, but they're not supposed to. Oh, thank. Thank Thassa for this. Uh, let us just kick this off there. Yeah, for sure, Tycho. If you have any, I, I like I said, I don't have an like intro to arena thing. I have like an intro to if you want to stream arena, which I know is a video a bunch of people have used to set up their streams. But I don't have like an intro to MTGA period. Yes, the the 
The precons are also like impossible to get, so it's like, okay, <laughs> sure. I think we want to bust up the trail of crumbs. I think that I think that card is just too scary. So let's just kill it. And then we'll also play Overgrown Tomb. And then next turn we'll go Vivian and start jamming. Oh, there's also uh Tycho. Tycho, if you're still here, there's also a ton of free codes if you wanna get get some free stuffs. Um, they should all be here. I heard people having trouble regarding finding Corvals regardless of price. It's just because it's supposed to be a pre-con card. It's a pre-con brawl deck card. <laughs> Slew bars, thank you. Yeah, there's a free deck from Prime as well. Ooh, we're getting mur murdered. That thing's kind of annoying. You have a copy because I found a copy of the deck, but I'm using it as my commander cue. Ooh, hello. That's interesting. What do we do here? I guess we can just go Vivian, pump up the Paradise Druid, and sit back. Do you like to ever play Monored in Standard Ranked? I have before Gilded Beast. I don't typically stream it because I find it to be kind of samey. Okay, this is my new plan. Hear me out. We're gonna play a murderous writer. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. Yeah, it's also not good right now. There's like too much food and stuff and like bigger decks right now. I'm just gonna diversify my threats. Look at this. Is it that hard to get brawl cards? My Online my. it's really easy because you just you use a wild know. card and you get a Corvold, so it's not hard. On paper, it can be really hard because there was a limited supply of those Prawl precon decks, and now people are like playing Corvold and Standard, which is it's the equivalent of like Nexus of Fate being the Biobox promo and people playing that card. You know what I mean? It's just not good. It, it was not supposed to be a standard card, period. But it was turns out too good. That's stupid. Mm. Uh, are we supposed to fire off this uh, this casualties here? Try to take the oven, the murderous rider, and like their blood crypt or something. It's kind of wild that they printed two cards meant to be for casual play that ended up seeing standard play. Wasn't it three? Wasn't it Kenrith, Nexus of Fate, uh, Corvold? Wait, yeah, I might just wait. It's just not good. Do you think crafting Jeskai Fires is worth it? Yeah, it's probably fine. If that seems like your kind of deck, I think it's totally fine deck to play. Oh, you meant in Eldraine. I was gonna say, this year we are just like flush with cards that weren't supposed to be in the format. Some. Oh, that's right, Haunt of Hightower was a, was a buy box promo, right? I don't think I want to block this. 2019 was a weird deck for, or a weird year for Magic. That's why I think doing the review for Magic FM will be sweet. Okay, yeah, I definitely will kill that. Destroy target artifact, destroy target creature, destroy target land. Artifact, creature, I guess we'll get the Holy. castle. Bum possible! Thank you so much for the 33 months. You're the best. I appreciate you supporting the stream. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Lovely to see you. We. Our waiting one turn actually turned out to be pretty good because we got rid of a Mayhem Devil, a Witch's Oven, and the Castle, which they didn't have before. So. Can't they sack the creature and fizzle the spell or not? Nah, they they can use the castle, they can sack that thing, but it only fizzles if only one target do dies, and that would be the only target. I guess I'll attack? You Devotion was your favorite Pioneer deck, right? Uh, are you hoping for some new fun Devotion goodies from Theros? That'd be really sweet, cute cards. That was, Mono Blue Devotion was my favorite standard deck of all time. I love that deck. So that's part of the reason why it was my favorite. Pioneer deck is just because I got to play with it again. Want to see the most devastating LSV beat ever? Yes, I'm always in for that. 
<laughs> That's so brutal. Gutsy! Thank you so much for the nine months. You're the best. Why attack? Because I'm not blocking. And they're attacking me. They already showed me that they're, uh... They're, they've already shown me that they're willing to attack into it, so I might as well attack back. That way at least we kind of offset the life gain. Okay, we need to draw a an adventure card, but if we do, I think we're doing okay. That's why Rakdos Vamps was my first EDH deck, because B Vamps was my very first favorite deck. I mean, Nostalgia is a very powerful... Oh, come on, man. We're just mega flooded. Like, they found another trail, which is obviously very bad for us. We could have killed it if with casualties. I mean, at this point, there's a chance I might just leave the Paradise Druid back and just trade with a Murderous Rider. Feels really bad, though. Time to go home. Sounds good, Vader. Have fun. Oh, disaster. Okay, we're gonna hold back the Paradise Druid now. Nope. Nostalgia makes me want to play Death Cloud again. That feel one that will never get reprinted. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not. I know, scrying to scry. How lucky can we be? We're just really dead. Both of, like, these mirrors, a lot of time, is just whoever has a better card advantage engine, and we just don't really have anything going. They have Trail of Crumbs. Like, if we had the Great Henge, that'd be sweet. If we had. Oh, and they're about to play a Mayhem Devil. We can just scoop this game. We're done. Arena music remains pretty loud. I can lower it for sure. How about... I'll ch I lowered it a little bit. Let me know how it is here. I still don't think we want Rotting Reggie. I still don't think we want that. Foulmire Knight is just so bad against the Pinger. Yeah, we would have needed like a casualties into the Great Henge or something. Like we we're just not going to get there. We need Big Teferi and search for Ascanta! Alright, could you believe that we live in a world where Tef Big Teferi is just not the biggest villain? <laughs> there were enough worse cards that Big Teferi was actually like, Oh yeah, I like that standard with Big Teferi. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this. Lady! Lady, how are you? It's so good to see you. How was your weekend? Let me look at this. What is this? <laughs> That's really good. I'm not gonna trade there. They can just get their thing so so easy. Hi, Fakey. Just pass. I would like a land. Yeah. Blingly, I kind of had the same feeling. I think I just want land. Let's put on this murderous rider. Obviously, if they draw... Um, what's it called? If they draw the Mayhem Devil this turn, it's going to be a little obnoxious. But it, we do have the epic downfall. If that, It does seem like they might have it. Being stuck, giant is fine. Had a great weekend. Got a manicure and pedicure. Much needed. I love it, lady. Nice, nice self-care. My weekend was really good. Uh... Luisa's friends from like college were here this weekend. So we got to play a bunch of games, hang out. It was a good time. I think we really want to bust up that trail of crumbs. Yeah, it seems like... I mean, I guess we could also go Vivian and start jamming, but is that even good? I cast it to fair and I liked it, the Lady of Tarkas story. I don't know about that. Hmm. I think we just want to replace the trail. Or sorry, I think we just want to kill the trail. I think the trail is pretty scary. And I'm not about it. Yeah, I, I think it's that into Vivian, like, up next turn. So we were gonna get, like, played anyway. Because they were gonna play Wicked Wolf and then... Then we would have gotten mega mega baited. 
Hmm. Okay, so now we can go Love Struck Beast into... Yeah, let's just set up for a little bit. Let's just set up a token, set up the beast. These can block this for now. To very won that game, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, you would blame our poor, innocent new mod, Johnny Cats? Oh, snap. Okay, we're gonna have to downfall that thingy. Actually, we don't even have to, right? We can just go Vivian. Oh, <laughs> they can blow it out by eating the food to the wicked wolf. That's actually very funny that they can do that. Or eating it to the cat. They will eat the food to the familiar. Oh, yeah, they can eat the food to the familiar and, and pump it up too. So I guess no matter what, we kind of have to epic downfall this thing because we need it dead. Yeah, and then we can also play like Paradise Druid to set up for a, another casualties turn in the near future. Attack with Love Struck Beast. Yeah, now we're not letting them for sure, Time Twister. I was trying to just see if there was a way that we could play that Vivian, because that just seemed like a better play. Oh my gosh, you also know what I really want to do? I didn't get around to this weekend, but I really want to. I really wanted to see Knives Out. I heard that movie's very good, and I just didn't really get a chance to watch it. Talk with you. Now that is very good, yes. It's phenomenal. I heard it's so good. I really, really want to go watch it. Also, it has just like the sickest, the sickest cast. You love that director? Who was the director for it? I don't think I remember. Ryan Johnson? Alright, I hope they don't have another Corvold. I guess if they have another Corvold, we can draw land and casualties away that Corvold and... Aw, oh, damn it. So we're back up to four manas. Five manas. What do we want here? Probably second black source. Because we still have enough green for Vivian. So let's go Viv. Uh, distribute counters. Wait, what happened? What happened to poor Narbly? Narbly did nothing wrong! <laughs> Narble is getting framed. I'm gonna keep the one one there and just put counters here. We're fit enough to survive. I think I'll attack because they don't have food yet, so if they wanna trade them down. Okay. Narble did nothing wrong! <laughs> Wait, what is Oh my god, it's the it's the evidence! Narbly had the receipts. Poor Narbly went to Narbly jail for nothing. Can you stop? Good lord. Mmm. Can't really do anything here. That plays into second casualties? Yeah, but I don't know if we're supposed to play around second casualties. I, like, what else is our play in that spot? The receipts are totally real, gut Gutsy. I saw them. I saw the receipts myself! Oof. Cats are gonna kill us fast. Okay, I guess the only option we have is Viv, but counters on the 1-1? One -one? So bad. Oh, laser burn! I'm happy you got the codes. Love it. Okay, so we're just gonna put counters here and... Reprint engineered plague for all the cats! I know, man. Our no love stroke beast can no longer attack. I know. That's our biggest problem right now. Oof. They're probably just gonna try to kill me. 
Oh, they're coming all at Viv? That's interesting. If they sack the thing, they actually get to kill my Viv. Just hit gold 3 with my Yarok value list? Love it, Shiv! That's so awesome! Oh my gosh, Unmored Ego and Cat must feel so good. I mean, the funny thing is these decks don't really need Cat to kill you, but just like, show him who's boss. My poor Viv! She's dead! Her <laughs> good name is Ruin. <laughs> We all saw the receipts, lady. The jig is up. Oh no! I think that's just gonna. Mm. Okay, when they sack their cat here at the end of the turn is when. I guess I have to attack. Okay. So here they probably sack the cat. There you go. Boom. Kill the Wicked Wolf. Alright, so we actually got away with something there because we got to get in for three and then, I mean, they get their cat back. But, like, at the at least it means that they don't get to just kill us with a Wicked Wolf that we can't block. And if we draw land next turn, we do get to kill the Oven, the Crumbs, a Creature, and a Land. Have I ever been called the Gubernator? I don't think I... I've had a lot of nicknames. I do not believe Gubernator is one of them. Okay, please, please, please. Please let me draw land. I need it so badly. Oh no, it's a shock land. I mean, I die otherwise, right? So I might as well. Destroy target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, target land. So brutal. Yeah, so they bring back. And then they can sack two cats that they have in the yard already. I'm so sad. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, these cats don't have nine lives. They have like a million more. Stupid. All right, we're done. We, we got close to turning the corner in this game. Oh, so sad. You got hit three times for all five options yesterday in one game? I've never uh, casualties for everything. I don't think I've ever been that lucky. Let me uh, wrap up this VG real quick. Yo, Queen B 619 thank you for supporting the stream. I really, really appreciate that. And thank you for using your Prime sub here. I know you could use it on any streamer ever. I appreciate you using it here. Let me show this on here. All right, uh, so for the YouTubes, this is Kavartex Golgari Adventure Deck. It's a pretty fun deck. Um, the games end up being pretty grindy, as you saw. Uh, but it does have a lot of staying power. You do have a lot of card draw with, like, the Innkeeper and Great Henge. I think we had some, like, not great draws for this deck deck. But I think it's super fun to play. We've been doing great with this deck on, on stream. So thanks for watching. If you want to support the stream in a free way, you can just hit that subscribe button. That both lets you see other videos as I upload them, but it also lets me know that you like what I'm doing here. So I very much appreciate that. Thanks again, YouTube. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.